Hi guys, Vigo on 5 Grams here, and you've probably come across this video because you have a DJI Spark with a battery just that just doesn't seem to want to charge. It's probably gone into permanent failure mode in its battery management system. You can revive it and you will just need a couple of things. Uh, firstly, a I've got an 18 watt USB charger with a USB uh, digital readout which shows uh, the voltage and amps that's being drawn. You will need a interface board, it's called the CP2112 um, and that connects via USB into your computer and the software that you will need is the DJI battery killer. I will link all these items that you need below or on screen and I will show you how to get your battery out of permanent failure mode so when you do put it back into your drone and charge it it actually starts to charge. One thing to mention is if the battery has gone below a certain amount the interface won't read the chip so you may have to force an external uh, voltage to charge the battery until you get some sort of response. Um, the pinouts for the ex uh, to attach an external battery is from the left hand side. The second pin in is the negative and the third pin in from the left hand side is the positive. So you just put them in, attach it to an uh, external power source over 12 volts until you get a response, then try and connect via the software to the battery. Now, once you've soldered on your header pins, once you receive your interface board, connect it to your laptop or computer, uh, allow Windows to recognize it, it will find its, the drivers and install it. Then all you need is the ground, the SDA and the SCL. And the pinouts on the battery, uh, on the left hand side is the SCL, and completely on the right hand side is the SDA. And second pin in from the right is the ground. So once you put those pins into your battery, uh, you're then able to connect using the DJI Battery Killer software. For this particular battery, I was able to successfully use the DJI Battery Killer version 0.4 beta 2 underscore 23.11.2021. So you just click on the software. You have options on the right, they're grayed out until you connect to the board. So I've successfully connected. Then you read the information. So the board communicates to the battery, gives you all the information. Now, when I first did this and my battery was in permanent failure, the voltage on the battery cells were less than 3000 millivolts. They were around 2700. So next you want to unseal the battery. Clear the PF, your permanent failure faults. If it doesn't work the first time, click it again. Then you want to clear your PF2 faults. Then you click on reset chip. And once that's done, hit seal. And that's it. You can then put your battery into your drone, plug the charger back in, and if you see, where did I put it? If you see a healthy draw of 12 volts at 1.5 amps, then it's charging, then it's working. Uh, Got to give thanks to a few YouTubers uh, that helped, that videos helped me understand and be able to reset the uh, faults on the DJI Spark battery. Uh, yeah, shout out to those people. I'll do a, a credits or something. Uh, much appreciated. Hopefully I've helped helped you get your battery out of permanent failure. Uh, good luck, guys. Just 
pretty simple. If I can do it, you can do it. Good luck.